Hello, St. Peter's School community. This has been a crazy year. A lot of world turned upside down. Jobs, school, relationships, emotions, and our stay-at-home advisory. Despite these challenges, our school has remained 100% committed to your children. Our teachers pivoted to remote teaching in two days, which means that we had uninterrupted learning for our students. While we are not in the classroom together, teachers have found ways to connect with the students and provide work for them. Teachers are keeping detailed notes on their curriculum and are in conversation with other teachers and will cover what is needed in the fall. Though we could not be together in person for our annual gala, the virtual gala raised more money than ever. This is a testament to the dedication of our school community and we were truly moved by the outpouring of support. Thanks to an incredible donation of time and effort from a handful of parents, St. Peter's School has a wonderful new website to communicate to our current parents and prospective families. St. Peter's School's talents and treasures were also on display in the gala promotional video that was created by the same handful of parents. St. Peter School sings and soars. As mentioned several times by the superintendent, we have one of the most, if not the most, talented group of faculty and staff in the Archdiocese of Boston. Congratulations to all of our staff as they engage their students daily. Special congratulations to our own Mr. Gray, who has won another Outstanding Teacher Award and was honored just last week by our grateful community. Our students work hard and their hard work has paid off. Though not all of our students have decided which high school they will attend next year, we know that our students will be attending the following schools, Belmont High School, BC High, Cambridge Ridge and Latin, Groton, Matinon, Maynard High School, Newton High School, and the Windsor School. The Principal Search Committee spent innumerable hours working to find the right person to lead our school, and we are confident we have found the right fit. While the world has turned upside down and there is a lot of uncertainty and unknown, we need to keep intact what is certain and what is known, and that is our beloved St. Peter's School community. We still have the constant of St. Peter's School and we want to continue to provide this normalcy and stability for our children. If you have not done so already, please re-enroll your children for the upcoming school year. As mentioned previously, our virtual gala was a huge success. However, due to the continued stay-at-home advisory and school closure decreed by the governor, we are not able to have our golf tournament, and that also brings in revenue for the school. We are currently working on our budget for the 2020-2021 school year, which is based upon the projected number of students who will attend St. Peter's School. Our budget is partially made up of the money that we bring in from fundraising and in large part by tuition. We did not raise tuition for next year due to the economic challenges that surround us. We understand that many people's financial situations may have changed and we are willing to work with each family to keep our community together. This year, we have 187 students enrolled at school. We have an ambitious goal to enroll 200 students for the upcoming school year. In order to continue to provide a robust program for our students, we need to ensure that our re enrollment remains strong. Your children get an outstanding education at St. Peter's School, and they are loved by our faculty and staff. We still have the constant of St. Peter's School, and we want to continue to provide a sense of normalcy and stability for our children. Please help us maintain this consistency for our children. We are all in this together. If you have not done so already, please sign up now. Sign up your friends. Let's get enrolled and let's get rolling. Thank you.